first we are going to start off with skincare and on my lazy days i still like to pamper my skin a really good product that kind of does it all in the mornings especially if my skin is already clean is this tasha polished rice enzyme powder it's really good at toning cleansing exfoliating it's like an all-in-one product it's very gentle and super hydrating and you guys know i'm all about moisturizing my skin and this doesn't deplete it from its natural oils i usually use a clean white towel but anytime that they're all dirty or I don't have any clean ones I'll go in with a cotton round and use that to dry my face instead so afterwards I go in with my beloved sk2 essence and I just take one pump and I gently pat this into my face for eye cream I've been using this 5-in-1 eye cream by beauty aid and for my skin I've been trying this Tasha uh, moisturizer on my lazy days my skincare is pretty quick and easy So then I go in and apply a body butter and this is by Laura Mercier. This is the uh, vanilla scent. Oh my gosh, you guys, this scent is to die for. It's very similar to the bubble bath one that I've showed you guys before. And once I'm done doing all of that, I will go back into my PJs because who doesn't want to be in their PJs on lazy days? And of course, you can't forget about hydrating your lips. Every morning I take a little bit of time to reply to your comments and with the creators app I can actually use emojis. Can we talk about all the new emojis? Like there's finally a Panama flag and a unicorn and a champagne bottle. I totally got emoji happy. <laughs> I want to know what is your favorite emoji that just came out? Leave it in the comments down below. And today I am going to be making eggs benedict. This is going to be like a southwest version. I didn't want like the traditional eggs benedict. So we are going to be using a little bit of sriracha for this. So all you're going to need is just some Canadian bacon or you can use ham. Heat up your Canadian bacon on a pan. You're also going to need English muffins. I really love the sourdough version. I think it just adds a little extra flavor. And then I like to butter both sides because I'm going to be putting it on the pan and crisping it, it up. Meanwhile, I want to start boiling a pot of water. You just want to fill it up about halfway and bring it up to a full boil. Once you get it up to a full boil, turn the heat down to where it's simmering. Another trick for perfectly poached eggs is you want to add just a splash of vinegar. And I know this sounds weird, but trust me, you're not going to be able to taste it once the eggs are cooked. So then you want to take a spoon and start creating almost like a vortex in your water. And then once you take your spoon out, the water is going to continue turning on its own. And this is when you want to get your egg and make Make sure your egg is super fresh. Make sure that your egg is already cracked in a separate container. And then you just slowly add the egg into the water. And you're gonna see how the egg starts spinning with the water. That's gonna create this wrapping motion. That's gonna wrap that egg white around the egg yolk. And that's how you get that beautiful looking poached egg. And you just let it cook for about three minutes. And then I take it out and put it on a paper towel to make sure that all that water is absorbed so that you don't get your bread and all that soggy. So we've got everything prepped for the eggs benedict. So the last thing left to do is to, to make the hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce is traditionally made by hand, but if you have a blender, I highly suggest you use a blender. It is going to make your life so much easier. So my first tip is to fill a blender up with hot, hot water. So while you're letting your blender sit with the hot water, you're gonna start prepping your items. You're gonna need two tablespoons of lemon juice and just squeeze this into a container. And then you're also going to need two egg yolks and about half a cup of melted butter. You can always use a little bit less if you want it thicker or a little bit more if you want the sauce to be a little runnier. So now that you have your ingredients, you can go ahead and dump that hot water from the blender. Make sure you pat it dry and be careful not to cut yourself. So now you're going to add the lemon juice and the egg yolks to the blender and slowly work it up to a high speed. Leave it on high speed until everything is well blended. And then you're gonna slowly add the hot melted butter into this mixture. So I added some sriracha to it, about a teaspoon. And then I just let it blend for about three to five more seconds after that and your hollandaise sauce is ready. It'll be this thicker consistency. A lot of times people have this with asparagus, steaks, seafood, and of course it's very traditional to have it on your eggs benedict. Now all that's left to do is plate everything.
on my lazy days, I just want to eat good food and become a couch potato all day long. That is my ideal lazy day. <laughs> That's pretty much how my lazy day goes. We just watch some DVR, catch up on Netflix, and we bum it all day long. <laughs> if you missed my last Lifestyle Sunday video, it will be in this little box right here to the right of the screen. You can just click on that and it'll take you to it, or you can go down into the info box and there's a link to my last Lifestyle Sunday video and also my last beauty video. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.